over the top here making another video another useful video one that you can use <laughs> so uh, I'm not saying that everybody out there doesn't make useful videos but uh, anyway um, while I was outside barbecuing uh, I seen some of the uh, burnt wood that comes from you know as you all know some of your campfires and you know if you ever bought some of the the barbecue charcoal um, burnt wood is what they use now in some of them um, so, you know I started thinking you know char cloth is sort of the same thing you know I was like oh char cloth burns you know pretty good you know it takes a little spark to get your char cloth uh, lit if you don't know what char cloth is it's just a piece of clothing say like a shirt cut up and you put it in a can let it burn for a little bit without it catching on fire it smokes and when the smoke turns off then you know you got your black piece of clothing and with your um i call it a striker rod i know it's a parisian rod i call it a striker rod you know, just a little spark from this will actually get your char cloth um, burning um and uh so i was outside and you know i thought hmm you know let me see if um this wood will actually burn start to burn with a uh, magnifying glass so I went ahead and put the magnifying glass on the burnt piece of wood. It was a smaller piece than this, and uh, it started to burn. At, at first, I didn't see anything. You know, it was bright outside, so I was like, oh, it's not working." But then I started to notice that the, the uh, piece of wood was was a little white. You know, so I started to blow on it, and you could see the embers, or you could see the redness, the fire. You know, spreading throughout the piece of wood. So I was like, "Perfect. This is gonna be." This is going to work just perfectly. So I thought I'd go ahead and share that with you um, because I do carry char cloth in my emergency bag. But I always wondered, you know, what happens when I, you know, run out of char cloth and say I use this all the time. It's my primary uh, thing for starting fires. You know, what what am I going to use to make char cloth with? You know, I'm not going to start cutting up my pants and my shirt to make char cloth. I do have this, but sometimes... Um, if you you know you have a little um a little bird's nest or something this doesn't always work for it you have to actually get something hot that's continuously burning to actually get your bird's nest or your little tiny pieces of wood or sawdust or whatever to uh, burn so um so i thought that this was going to work perfect since you know in a breakout situation you're going to be lighting fires you know every day if not every other day and you're going to have pieces of burnt wood left over. So that's something that's going to be in use continually. You know, it's something that's going to be a great advantage for you, um, you know, in your bug out bag. So I thought I'd show that. Um, I did um, sc scrape some of it, scrape some powder off a little while ago. Um, scraped it to it was a little nice, nice little pile. And I went with the striker rod and uh started striking it and the little pile of charcoal started to burn so i was like oh it's just just perfect it's just just what just what i need just what everybody else needs you know because um especially after a while say it's a long time you, you know this gets used up you no longer have this you no longer have a lighter you no longer have matches you know what are you going to use you know so i mean the magnifying glass as long as you have sunlight, this is always going to come in handy. It's always going to be useful. So, I mean, this isn't going to wear out unless you happen to lose it. Then, you know, you're screwed. Then you got to go back to the uh, Stone Age where you're using sticks to start your fire. So, this works. So, if that always concerned you, you know, running out of um, things to, to start your fires, then go ahead and look at the magnifying glass. And your leftover non burnt pieces of wood that are just black like this. You know, they're not powder, they're not ashes, they're just burnt. So uh, you could go ahead and try it out. If you have some burnt wood around, you could burn some wood, get it black, take it off, and then let it sit there. And then maybe the next day or later on, go out with a magnifying glass and burn it. And you will see that it's it works just fine. It's a great substitute to your char cloth matches lighter um this striker rod so there you go over the top here i'm out